I was raised in an entrepreneurial household. I'm 54 now. I'm, I'm one of three boys of European immigrant parents. Um, I went to school for software, law, and business. And I've been an, an entrepreneur my pretty much my entire adult life. But at my core, I'm a problem solver. And, and nine years ago, I was, I was sick of sitting on the sidelines complaining about the high cost of healthcare. So I decided to do something about it. And I left, I left a really, a really good job. Um, it took over PN Medical back in 2015. And, and, you know, my goal was to improve cardiopulmonary health, not only for the sick populations, all the way up to Olympians and special force operators in the military. And, and you know, I've got a selfish reason too. So we do a tremendous amount of research. Um, you could almost say half the company is research. We're constantly trying to break the barrier and do more. So I'm on this mission to crack the code on low energy, sleeplessness, and anxiety. And what's cool is a lot of research we do in the cardiopulmonary world actually is showing promise. So I'm seeing promise in low energy, anxiety, and sleeplessness. So, so I'm getting my, it's, it's, it's awesome that I'm getting so much out of this amazing corporation. Those are great questions. Um, well, you know, it's it's a simple three-part system. We've been around for 43 years. I took over nine years ago to grow it. And um, the, it's, it's, the three-part system is a respiratory muscle device. And for anyone who's watching, I'm showing it right now, real simple respiratory muscle training device. Number two are breathing protocols. And the third part is a mobile app. And if you wanna go analog, you know, you can make the mobile app optional. But at the core of the breather, um, is a muscle strength trainer. So what it does is it creates pressure as you breathe, as you inhale and exhale, it's creating pressure at various pressure levels. And I'll, I'll demonstrate it in a second. But again, it's all about improving gas exchange, you know, throughout the body. It impacts endurance, breathlessness, sleep, anxiety, blood pressure, um, and ADLs. So, and the, and the breathing protocols, um, what's so special about that, and we just applied for patents on these breathing protocols, and we learned it through a 2,000 patient study we just finished with COVID patients through Mayo Clinic. Um, so many things we learned. We're going to report that out in a number of months. It's going to be pretty exciting. But we learned that you have to reset the autonomic nervous system, and, and we all need it. It's just not for people who had COVID. Everybody, what we've learned after all these years we just learned in the past year and a half, two years, that there has to be a reset because everybody's got some sort of a dysfunctional breathing pattern as you become adults. So a demonstration, it's again, demonstrating the actual, the actual device. You use it five minutes in the morning, five minutes at night, put it in your mouth, breathe through it. You're just doing a, three sets of 10 reps and you're doing it under load, you, you do the pressure based on whatever the setting is that you're supposed to be at, and you just breathe through it. I'll do a couple breaths. And what that's doing is it's activating all the muscles of respiration. And at the core, it's addressing your diaphragm. You know, it's a big, smooth muscle. It is, it is so important for so many reasons. And, you know, who talked about it best was Nestor in his book, Breathe. It's just, I, I recommend it for everybody. He really pulled it all apart and it's still a bestseller of, about all this. And then who it serves, um, you know, it comes in four different models. There's the breather, there's breather voice, breather fit, and breather recover. That was the new patent device that we learned um, treating flu, pneumonia, and COVID. So, so it comes in four flavors. Um, the the breather, the one that's been around for all these years, the one that I the, the one that I show, the blue and white one, it has it has got proven results with over two million patients over the years. COPD, asthma, vent weaning, and and um, you know going into cardiac, CHF, hypertension, speech, dysphagia, long COVID, stroke, spinal cord injuries, Parkinson's. 
Um, I don't want to act like this is a silver bullet, but there's a lot of things that at the base, oxygen matters, gas exchange matters. So we do affect these things. And, and we're also in the healthy world, in the healthy populations, from your weekend warriors to Olympians and special forces in the military. And now a new uh, one of our newest um, devices, Breather Voice, for singers, singers and wind instrumentalists, actors and and you know people that speak for a living. So we're we've crossed a vast group of populations and and we're all over the world now. Well, I touched on it briefly. If we do it by group, um, you know, at the core, yes, it's very underdiagnosed. Respiratory muscle weakness is underdiagnosed across the world all the time, every day. And that, that you know, that has to do with breathlessness. So, but in the, in the medical world, like I mentioned, resilience, ADLs, QOL, weaning, COPD, all those major conditions that affect um, the cardiopulmonary system. Athletically, you know, it, it, it's all about endurance. It's all about lactate threshold. So what's interesting is a lot of people that are listening to this, to your show or reading, those are mostly high achievers, achievers and alphas. So um, what's interesting is their patients will get the breather, but the doctors will get the breather fit because they're runners, they're triathletes, you know, that they, they're constantly, a lot of them try to stay in shape. So it does, it does help endurance. Um, we did a study with, uh, with special forces, with Rangers, and we improved their two mile run carrying a rucksack. You're carrying a 60 pound backpack. Their runtime went down, I believe 39 seconds. I mean, in two miles, 39 seconds is a lot. That's the difference between making it into making it or not making it. And then in performing arts, you know, for, um, singers, breath support, vocal strength, lung capacity, vocal fatigue. And what's cool, performance anxiety. You can use the device in any sport, but when you're about to go on stage, there's a protocol to help calm you down and get you back into your parasympathetic state and to be ready and be in the front of your brain instead of being in the back of your brain. And then the last one, um, the benefits for breather recover, you know, it started in COVID, but it's all about, it's all about dysautonomia at the, at the core of this. So anything where dysautonomia plays a part, it helps. Again, we 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 did this all for COVID, but flu and pneumonia, and any anything you're recovering from when you're in recovery, it's it's great for that. It's in it's in many clinical settings. We're at the acute, the subacute, skilled nursing. Home health is exploding because everything's going home now. So we're we're getting bigger in home health, but it's but it's across the country. We're now growing worldwide, making a big footprint now in Europe and the Middle East and now South America as well. Um, but but it, it clinicians and what's interesting is we've always addressed it at the clinical level: speech therapists, respiratory, skilled nurses, um, PTs, OTs. We've um, we, we, we haven't pushed a lot into the MD side and we really want to, uh, so usually what happens is a clinician has it at a hospital and then they get transferred somewhere else. And then there it is, the breather starts, it, it, it is launched in another hospital. We're at all the big ones. Um, and we're at a lot of the small ones because this is a low cost solution for respiratory health. So it is across the board. This is where it gets really fun, and, you know, because we serve so many populations, uh, you know, from the very compromised all the way to the top 1% athletes in the world, um, where I'll just list some, you know, we just started a IRB, we just started our weight loss study. So there's things that we do that actually can affect that pretty exciting. At Mayo, where we, we should start a longevity study next year, we've done a NATO study with fighter pilots. That's really interesting because the fighter pilots in a G suit and they're compromised, their diaphragm is so squished all the time while they're in the plane. And there are more blackouts, there are more issues because the planes are just getting faster. So we're helping at that level. Uh, we just did one of the most novel studies. Oh, it's not done yet, it's across the world. 
with working opera singers. So, so nothing's been done like this and the things we're testing haven't been done before. And we feel that we can change uh, singing across the board. And, and when you start at the top at opera, it then trickles down to aspiring singers and, and um, anybody in the performance world, in the performing world, all the way down to resilience studies. So we did a, we, we just got published, we just published a resilience study or it was just published for frontline caregivers and their stress levels. And, and that study proved an 18% reduction in frontline stress. Because stress has gone up, of course, since the last three years with COVID. But again, there's a lot of stress in the healthcare world. And, and we made an impact on it. We've done spinal cord injury, swallowing, uh, speech, uh, and um, a number of other studies in the speech world too. And then a number of COPD studies. So across the gamut, all the way from the super healthy to the super compromised. Next steps, you know, um, we take an approach to growth by continually doing new research. So every time a study comes out, we're designing them so that we're like, what's next? What can we do to move the ball forward in the respiratory world? And um, some of the new stuff is that we've got a couple patents coming or out. Um, we've got a new connected device and new software coming too. So, so there's a lot on the, on the forefront. We can predict an exacerbation 14 days before the patient knows, which is tremendous. And the way healthcare, like I said, is going more homeward bound, um, it matters. And we're going to be continuing to do more research, you know, with the autonomic, autonomic nervous system as well, because we really want to we really want to help humans across the world recover more, recover during their, get better sleep, fight anxiety, fight low energy. That's everyone. It doesn't matter if you're sick or healthy. So we're going to continually push the bar. And I think right now there are six studies um, in progress. And I think two or three will be published in the next quarter. So every quarter, there should be one or two studies coming out that we're doing.